What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. You guys see the title of the episode. Let's get into it. Popular anime uh, creator, editor, explains that the popularity of manga is, quote, is important for achieving animation. Stands directly in contrast to statements made by Marvel boss Kevin Feige. Which is very true. Because we all see the direction um, Marvel and DC are going. A direction in which... Well, I don't think I need to say it. Of course, you're going to have your hits like Spider-Man No Way Home. And uh, I guess whatever they make, right? But... We you guys know what I'm talking about. The direction Marvel and DC are going are more of the we have a political message to push and we're going to use our entertainment to push our propaganda while also preaching at you like, hey, our women, we can't have them too attractive because the attractiveness of women attracts the male gaze and we cannot have that. No. And they also, they, of course, push stuff like this. Also, an article from Bounding into Comics, as manga continue to dominate comic sales, DC Comics' latest gimmick is to kill off the Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and the Justice League. Because, you know, what is, I mean... What's better for comic book sales is than to kill off your primary characters, the characters that bring in your sales, of course, in addition to actual good writing. Because, like I said before, and I'm going to continue to iterate this. I don't care if it's a book or a movie about Superman or Wonder Woman or Batman or The Flash or Cyborg or Green Lantern. If your writing is bullocks, I don't care who is in it, is going to be Garbaggio. And that's not all. Also, from bounding into comics, Sam Wilson to become Captain America again. And the series, of course, undoubtedly, will take identity politics global. Because when you read comics, when you watch movies, you watch it to be preached at. You want to watch this stuff and read it because you want people to keep on telling you the importance of identity politics, gender politics, uh, whatever. Whatever it is that you want to preach at you. That is why you read the books. That is why you watch their stuff. And if you guys can't tell I'm being sarcastic, I'm sorry. I'm clearly being sarcastic. This is why they continue to fail. This is exactly why anime and manga are dominating. They know they have a, mar a market here in the West. Okay, Japan has a system. And the system has been working. And they know if it ain't broke, there ain't no need to fix it. Sex appeal works. Attractiveness, attractiveness works. Great storytelling works. Great animation works. Anime or manga without a political message behind it works wonders and they know it and they're stealing American audiences without even trying and Marvel and DC are literally just watching them do it. And before I go any further into the article, y'all know the vibes. Do me a favor if you're new or reoccurring visitor of my channel please make sure you're still subscribed or please hit the red subscribe button trying to climb to a thousand subscribers or at least 450 by the end of the weekend obviously the higher the better i would really would appreciate you guys support it lets me know you guys enjoy my content so real briefly and make this as short as i can this is the quote that matters to me he says, one of the main reasons for growth of manga sales overseas is the spread of anime viewing. So even they know how popular anime is, right? Everyone's trying to get their hands on it. Whether it's AMC, High Dive, Crunchyroll, Funimation, Sony, Netflix, Hulu, the, the list goes on. 
everyone wants a piece of it. I even think High Dive airs uncensored anime. I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section. But they know there's a huge and massive market for anime and manga here in America. And he goes on to say... Uh, he then said... Well, yeah, I think I lost it. Give me a second. All right. He said the most important role for manga editorial department and manga editors is to bring new and interesting manga to the world. Listen, I just wish that... Uh, Marvel and DC had the same mindset because if they didn't spend so much try, um, so much time trying to preach at us every freaking waking moment, maybe they would do better. But they seize every freaking opportunity to le lecture us about something, and it's like, listen, guys, we get enough of this stuff in the real world. You guys know what I mean. From the mutants on Twitter to the mutants on TikTok. Listen, if anyone else calls these people mutants on any other channel, you know they got that shit from me. <laughs> okay? I, I'm saying this stuff, okay? But for real, we get enough of this. I mean, we watch these shows and read these comics for escapism, and we can't even get that. I mean, what are your thoughts on this, guys? What do you guys think about this? And the article ends off by saying this is pretty cool. Unfortunately, the... Uh, given the rapid rise of manga and anime fandom in recent years, it seems as if the commitment to doing right by the fans was seen, uh, seeing them continue as one of the industry's top publishers. What do you guys think about this? Manga and anime will continue to rise. Um, they are a dominate, dominating um, a, a force. And I don't think America realizes that they're up against a challenger <laughs> who is a... Um, Who's winning and they're helping them win? <sighs> Unbelievable. I still gotta get this game, Dying Light 2. I'm, I'm, when I'm doing this, I'm gonna go pre order this thing. Seriously. Anyway, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Do you guys think uh, American Comics is basically uh, deteriorating? Do you guys think anime and manga is the newest, best form? Uh, at least the it, it, better form of entertainment in you know compared to like american stuff let me know what you guys think in the comments section like comment subscribe notification bell hit it right now for more content i post every day even if it's one episode because i do get busy life happens but i do post every day uh one two three if it's a good day i'll do even four or five you know depending on how not so busy i am but i post monday through friday mostly and maybe so often i'll do a saturday episode so i'll keep you guys updated in anime manga video games hypocrisy then pop culture over right here in this channel and i would really appreciate you guys support later